I'm on me last legs. I'm so tired of doing these portraits, honestly. But this video has been a lot of work, like two months of, you know, painting over a terabyte and a half of footage so far just for these portraits. Still got one more. So it would mean a lot if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more epicness. But watch the whole video because this video was wonderful. Thanks. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I am Slu. We're in my art studio. I was thinking, how can I incorporate many portraits into one painting? I had a Jimmy Neutron brain blast and I decided to reach out to my patrons over at Patreon to send me photos of themselves to put on one giant canvas, a mosaic. And that's the video. Big project, people. This is a big, big project. Lots of painting, lots and lots of painting. So we absolutely begin. We have this beautiful 36 by 36 inch canvas. I wanted to go kind of big, you know, I was actually thinking of doing like 24 portraits or something like that. And that was just way too ambitious. That would have taken me like half a year. So 16, I cut this bad boy up into fourths. So there's four by four by four by four, which is 16 and it's really awesome. And the painting area is set up and we're gonna begin. So for every single portrait, I draw out, I sketch out the face first. That's for a few reasons. One, I like to paint with a nice rubric to make sure the face is composed within this little square correctly. Also just, you know, it's it, it's easier and more successful to execute, you know, a portrait when you have an outline. But it's also great practice. Drawing is really great. And we're gonna go through these real quick, obviously, because if I spent two minutes talking about each portrait, this video would be way too long. So we start out, got the elbow grease out, and uh, we're just ripping through. You know, some of these portraits, I like to turn black and white, even though this was a selfie sent by, um, you know, this guy, and it was in color. I like to turn it black and white to practice and use some of my own colors, which is fun. But, you know, taking it slow, these are just portrait sketches. These are only you know, two, three hours. Some are only 90 minutes. Some I spend a little more time on just depending how I feel. And again, this was all my patrons. So like I do every week on Patreon, we live paint. And uh, for a lot of these, these portraits, I did some live painting with my patrons and it was really awesome. So this was one of them. Um, I'm just walking through step by step and it's really fun. And uh, this was one of my favorite portraits actually, because the the photo reference again that these people sent really determine um, a lot what you could do. So I told all the people on Patreon, hey, you know, try to get funky with the lighting. Try to get, you know, maybe two uh, lights going, one on the side, one on the back, some key light. Not everyone listens. Some people, you know, did a better job on their homework than others. This was just one of them that was really great. So it was really fun to paint because it had this nice yellow light coming from the left. And it was just a great time. Well, howdy. We're done with the first four. I feel like this is a good time to update or just take a step back. The first row is finished. We got 12 more and boy, this is taking way longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like an hour, hour and a half per portrait. I could crank out two, three a day. I could finish this whole 16 portraits in like two weeks, but they're taking like three hours, sometimes four. I'm a perfectionist. I can never just chill and do something, even though these are painting sketches like I was talking about. Also, I like to just relax. I'm a slow painter. Um, and with the palette, mixing new colors, trying new things, experimenting, but let's keep cranking them out. We were also blessed to have Dean in the studio for one of these portraits. He was just in Brooklyn. Dean's an awesome oil painter and we're good homies. So I thought it'd be a hilarious and awesome idea to kind of tag team this portrait um, during a live session. Usually I go live privately just for Patreon, but today it was live on YouTube. Maybe a bunch of you saw it, but Dean and I were just talking about oil painting, talking about technique, and it was just a wonderful time for a live session. You should check out Dean's art on Instagram, should be in the description somewhere. He's the man. Um, this was just a wonderful time. I've never also done this with another artist, so it was cool to kind of collab on this single portrait. And I've also sort of realized while filming this and dumping all the footage after every portrait that this project so far with the four painted portraits is already like 400 gigs, okay? And looking forward, I don't want this project to be like two plus terabytes. That's just insane. So to speed things up and also 
give my computer some rest from so much footage, I decided to kind of go ahead and do um, seven sketches in a row, sort of like a factory line to speed up that process and not film it. I'm gonna do it for every painting because it gets me familiar. I like to practice drawing, but I'm just not gonna film it. This is gonna speed things up, I believe. I'm gonna do two to three portraits per session now with my paint already lined up instead of doing another one We'll see how it goes. And so we're moving on to the next portrait. This is the sixth one, really exciting. I wanna briefly talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare, because it's extremely relevant to what we're doing today. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes ranging from all sorts of creative genres. These classes are led by the leading professionals in each of those disciplines, and it's a really, really wonderful platform to learn. If you're at home, like a lot of people in this day and age, or you have some free time off work or after school, and you wanna dive deeper into some creative hobby, drawing, painting, photography, graphic design, Skillshare is absolutely the place for you. The website layout is very amazing, and it's, again, curated to learn, so there's reviews, discussions, and course categories within each class. A great video I would recommend, again, that's super relevant to today's video, is Techniques for Pencil Portraits, a wonderful class covering the fundamentals of how to approach the portrait. So Skillshare is the best. They've been a longtime sponsor of the channel, and I really support their platform and what they do because I've learned so much from using classes. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. It's really great. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. You! That's three portraits in like five hours. That's what I call a painting session. And yeah, like I was saying, like I'm, I'm getting really tired of these at this point. You know, I have so much other work in the studio that I was trying to accomplish. It's the holiday season, so there's a lot of like work behind the scenes for merchandise and other just, you know, other just stuff. And this was taking a lot of time and I thought it was gonna be a lot quicker. I, I was enjoying it and I love painting portraits, but you know, all the space on my computer and constantly remembering I have to keep doing this. And just the idea that I have to do, you know, like eight more, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna finish. You kind of just hit that road bump, um, but it's fine. And it's all fun. And this is um, what I signed up for, obviously. But you know, also at this point, since we're halfway and I've done a bunch of these, you know, my technique and my order of operations to execute these little paintings, again, just little painting sketches are getting better. You know, I, I definitely saw myself improve just how quickly I can kind of execute a face and the mixing and just like, you know, they're very quick ideas, but you know, you always get more efficient when you do something a lot and especially repeating it. Um, you know, some are obviously more successful than others and some I spend a little more time on others. Again, up to the photo reference is a big deal for me for replicating these portraits, but it, it was a really great time and to see my process kind of develop and become optimized. Um, this is a really great portrait I was really happy with, I think super successful. You know, a lot of these portraits, it's really funny. They don't look exactly right, but that's just because they're missing the neck and the neck is such an important aspect. Um, when looking at someone. So that's kind of something I figured out that just these floating faces kind of look off just because there's no neck. Guys, come on. You really thought I wasn't gonna pay myself? I am the God, I am the creator in this project specifically. I'm the judge and the jury. Totally want to immortalize myself on this wonderful mosaic painting canvas project. So I think I'm gonna do my neck in this one. So it's kind of like me in the bottom corner looking at everyone, I don't know. I'm definitely painting myself though. You thought wrong if you, you thought I wasn't gonna do that. Last portrait. I am the Lord. And yes, I was like totally loving this project, especially towards the end. I was like, I see the end is near. So I was like, I'm definitely painting myself. I was playing on to, I was planning on painting myself the entire time actually. And for this one, we're gonna take it a little slower. We're actually changing up the palette. My palette has been the same the entire project except for this one. This is the Zorn palette. So we're limiting ourselves with only two colors, yellow ochre and cadmium red. And then we got titanium white and ivory black. So um, I haven't used this palette actually in a while. So I was fumbling around for this. I also spent like, I think three and a half, four hours on this portrait because it's myself. I was like, Got to go out with a bang and I actually did fumble. This wasn't as clean and efficient and, you know, smooth as some of the other portraits in this uh, mosaic painting, but I still had a good time. I also added my neck, even though we were just talking about they look weird without necks. I thought me in the bottom right hand corner with a neck where everyone else doesn't have like the neck and shoulders. It would kind of be like a signature. It would kind of like 
be me signing the painting that's why i did it and i actually really like how it came out you'll see it at the end with the final shots but you know i took this a little slower i tried not to go too dark too fast so you can see like the darkest part of the painting which is the side of the hair you know it's still not that dark i tried using very little black um to kind of control my values and i was happy at the end with this um and i was uh, the, the the picture chris took of me actually with an iphone was really was really pleasant not my best photo but in terms of the light again we're painters we paint the light all i care about is the light these faces are faces but they might as well be objects you know you're objectifying in the most literal sense i'm just painting light so it was all in all great and i enjoyed this portrait So I'm hanging this painting in the podcast studio because I love it and it's wonderful and delicious and it reminds me of all the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. There's one screw hanging up all of this gravity. Well, time will tell. <laughs> and it was just a fun, crazy project. Honestly, a whirlwind because I was pretty over it throughout like a most of it. You know, I wanted to finish this project in three weeks. Now it's been three months since I started this project and now we're finished. I thought I could do it faster. Things happened. I wanted to work on other awesome things in the studio. This was kind of lagging. So it was a good uh, good challenge of perseverance and sticking it through, you know, the hero's journey of all those emotions. But, you know, it was a good opportunity to use different styles. Some of the portraits are a little smoother, some are more sketchy, but this whole kind of two hour portrait sketch style, I definitely got better at replicating a photo. Again, it's not very stylized in like a painterly style. It's very kind of illustrative copying the photo, really just trying to get the likeness, had a blast. A lot to say about this, but if you stuck to the end, I appreciate it because I put a lot of effort into these videos. I do it for me because I love to paint and if you love to paint, you should subscribe because that's all we do around here. I think I'm gonna stick away from oil painting for you know, a few weeks. Maybe we'll do some old stencil projects um, that I'm pretty amped about. Also for the holiday season, got merch, pins, hoodies, stickers, really awesome stuff. We got the Salooniverse podcast going, going strong. So, you know, if you're new to the channel, you've stuck it out to the end, check out my other stuff because we get weird and wacky in the art studio. All right, thanks for watching.